Hey guys, it's Donald with InStyle Country, and I'm hanging out with the gorgeous Abby. Oh, thank you. Just Abby. <laughs> from texas actually right i am thank you for having me well i'm excited anytime i get a chance to hang out on a couch with a gorgeous girl who has a gorgeous voice and phenomenal fashion or style <laughs> it's a good day for me oh i appreciate it and we were talking earlier you're like ah style fashion it's it's another one of my passions other than music right yeah i from the first time that i saw devil wears prada when i was like 12 years old and i was like i remember this so vividly actually because it really i feel like was like the point where i like began to love fashion and couture and um i just remember being like what's prada and from there i'm telling you my neighbor mallory told me and from there i just fell in love and didn't look back nice so all right it you fell in love with the fashion, but what were your influences then? Like, so growing up, as I'm sure it's changed over the years, right? Mm -hmm. But where do you see yourself now? I mean, I think that in terms of like a fashion, whether it be like who I sort of like draw influence from, um, I think I'm just really inspired by like fashion heads, like Christian Dior. And I just think, you know, Mario Grazia Churi, who's like the current, like, head girl of Dior, just like people like that. And um, who have really, I mean, even like John Galliano, there's just so many, like if we go like high fashion, like I'm just such a nerd for it. Yeah, and what I love about this is, you know, we're in Nashville, country music, mm -hmm. and, and I don't think people always think Nashville country music style and fashion, especially the people that you're mentioning, but it's, it's a big <laughs> thing here too, right? Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. There's a really um, amazing presence of independent designers and fashion in Nashville that I've sort of um, begun to like explore. And yeah, I mean, I think it's such a creative city and there's so much so like so many outlets for it and music and fashion now a style of fashion is something that it's a daily thing if i walk out the door i'm looking like this or is it really just kind of a performance i go to work i sing i'm on stage now i'm dressing up what is it no i <laughs> i am such like a i try to be put together like all the time i mean i granted i have my sweatpants days but i mean it's just how i express myself it's just like a mood thing for me really and i mean there are days where i'm like i don't care at all yeah. i am putting on a hoodie but most of the time i'm pretty i like to really just sort of challenge myself and um always just find new ways to express myself all right so would that have any influence then your new song now it's called a day without and I asked, I go, a day without what? And you were like, I don't know. <laughs> anything, anyone, anything. I think it's a really beautiful song that's super open to interpretation. Um, and yeah, it's definitely, I mean, I feel like fashion and style, I mean, fashion and music both are just huge like areas of self-expression for me. So I think in that way, they're simultaneously the same. Would it be more for you in clothes or accessories? Like, uh, well, no, it's the jewelry or... I don't know. Does that make sense? Is it yeah, the shoes yeah, or where? Um, I definitely think that shoes and clothes, I wear like the same jewelry every day. And so I guess in a way that's sort of like a staple of my wardrobe. But um, yeah, I definitely would say that I most express myself in my clothes and shoes. Shoes. Uh, is it for looks or comfort? Oh, it's always for looks. <laughs> always. Are you kidding? That's no question. I get in so much trouble. I'm going to have the worst feet when I'm older. I already know it, but I suffer. Well, we're going to have to get a closer look at what you got going on right now. But is this something that um, black leather, is that kind of your style or is it? No, I'm all over the place. I mean, I think that I have like a lot of versatility in my wardrobe, but it's all very cohesive. I think that this was definitely like a mood for me today. I was just like, I woke up and I hadn't had enough sleep and I was kind of cranky, not going to lie. So I was feeling a little bit edgy. And so this is just kind of what I sort of seriously just expressed myself with. <laughs> I'm curious. So when you leave here same mood better mood like i don't know i mean i just woke i mean this was before i had coffee i got dressed before i had coffee so that that makes a huge difference You're like God, i gotta go talk to this donald guy from in style no. country i'm just not in a good mood and i just want to know did I, did we live up or just did we pass your expectations anytime i get to talk about fashion is a good day so perfect all right so we changed your mood Absolutely. and now the style may close right or, or change i should say close maybe maybe yeah. i'll go change um we were mentioning uh paris europe france yeah. What is that all about, other than the macaroons? Oh, yes. No, seriously, macaroons, huge influence in my life, kind of my love of life. But no, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've just really always, like I said, um, French designers and French culture has always just been something that I've had like such a romance with and um, spoke French at a young age and ended up like actually getting to live in Paris for a month when I was younger. And so I think it's just, um, yeah, it's a huge part of 
sort of my love for the culture and the bread <laughs> and yeah definitely the bread <laughs> oh absolutely oh my god the bread oh but yeah I just think it's um such a defining place for me and really just a source of like romance and love and yeah. absolutely but if I moved there my style would have to be full-time sweatpants or el elastic something oh yeah I, I completely understand <laughs> Abby thanks so much for hanging out with us yeah. uh, I, I was gonna ask before we go I mean you know as far as my style of fan what do you think I, I mean am I doing okay here or do I need to, I don't know. You're doing good. So no, just I'm plain, fine. simple. Yeah, I mean, you own it. It's simple, it's yeah. plain. And you know what? A lot of a lot of people cannot pull off the brown and the black. So if you can do that. It's, it's funny you brought that up um, because I was thinking about that when I walked out the door and I was like, eh, don't care. <laughs> just well, hey, I mean, if you own it, I'm serious. If you own something, then it looks good. That's my whole thing. It's like. <laughs> Abby, my new favorite person. <laughs> yeah. Thanks so much for hanging out. Oh, yeah. Anytime. New song, right? A Day Without. Indeed. Check her out. Hey, guys. Abby here. And you can find me on my socials at Abby Music. It's just A-B-I. Abby.